Welcome back everybody, on deck today for review we're going over Manticore's new safety for the Tavor rifle. It's the ambi safety as you see here. It can be actuated from both sides of the gun. You can set it up with the larger side on either side. I have mine set up with the large side over on the left side because I am a right handed shooter but you could reverse that very easily. Very simple product, um, excellent fit and finish. We're going to step inside, take a closer look at it but it should be a quick review because it's just a simple product that works. But We'll keep putting some rounds down range with it, and then I'll uh, let you know what I think about it more coming up later on in the review. There are two different models of the Luma Safety. There is the medium profile, as you see here, and then there's the slim profile. They're pretty much designed to be run as I was running it today out there, um, both with this on your strong side and this on your offhand side, so that way it's not getting in the way. Um, just to give you an idea of size, the medium here is the same size as the factory offering. And then the slim is about half that size. Installation is the same regardless of which side you're going to do it on, but we'll pick the offhand side just for demonstration purposes. There's a little detent in here, and all you're going to do is push that detent down. I'm using a punch, it's about a 1 16th inch punch. And you're going to push that detent down while it's in the fire position, and also pull downward on the factory model. So it comes out like that, and that's the detent just to show you guys. And to install it, you're going to take your uh, manticore and line it up. As you see here, just to show you this little groove, you're going to line that groove up with this groove here. If I can actually get it lined up, push the detent in and kind of wiggle it. And it'll go right up in there. And you just got to push it up, maybe, if I can do it. Like that. In terms of specs, they're made out of 6061 aluminum. That aluminum is type 3 hard anodized. It's holding up very well. Pretty durable little products. I've taken these on and off many, many times, uh, both for pictures, for this video, to show folks at the range how to do it, and um, holding up just fine there, no issues. They are made right here in America, made in the USA 100%, and they come to market. The MSRP for each one is $35, and if you look around you, maybe you'll find them for a little bit less, but that is the MSRP. But all in all, they work really well. I mean, a uh, simple product that works, like I said in the intro. If you're looking to further sort of set up your already relatively ambi rifle, a little bit more ambidextrous friendly, it's a good way to do it. If you guys have any questions about this review or anything else I talk about here on the channel, um, you can feel free to post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. It helps us out here. And uh, hope to see you in the next video. on the Tawar for those of you guys wondering. Uh, still running strong. We are still not having any malfunctions. I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm not normally a torture test guy, but I'm just trying to see how far this sucker will go because I've heard some pretty uh, crazy feats from the guys on the forum. So still running strong though. Not No cleaning, no lubrication, and uh, no issues. As you also see here, we've also added the arc light and the uh, Cerakote color to match up with it. I really like the arc light. Still like it. Still going strong there. And that product is now our and uh, being offered by the Manticore as well. So if you guys want the, the Cerakoted version to match up with your flat dark earth version, that's out as well. But that's it. That's the update. And uh, I'll stop talking now.